guys, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Today I'm going to do some sous vide burgers. I'm going to try these out for the first time. I've read a bunch about them on the uh, Facebook groups, a lot of the sous vide groups. Uh, seen some videos on them, but I've never tried them myself. So I'm going to try some. It's a Memorial Day. I want to cook some burgers, so I figured let's go ahead and sous vide some up. Show everybody how they're done. So I patted out some 80-20. I'm going to go ahead and put just some of my regular beef rub, which is uh, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, nothing too fancy. I'm just going to go ahead and season them up. Before I put them in this vacuum bag. So I get some uh, seasoning in them when they're sitting in this sous vide. I'm only going to sous vide them for about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes at 140. I want them to be medium when they come out. Then we're going to throw them on the grill and uh, cook them up. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum these up and get ready. Right all right, back. guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these all in one bag. So I don't need to make up a bunch of different bags for each burger. So I just stuck four burgers in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Seal this up real quick. And like always, I'm going to go ahead and double seal it. I'm going to pick the uh, moisture, moist setting just because I know some of the juices from the burgers are going to come up there. So go ahead and let that tighten up. Let it seal. And then I'm going to hit it with a double seal. And then we're going to throw them in the sous vide bath. All right, guys, I got the sous vides all up to uh, 140, 140 degrees. And like I said, I'm only going to drop them in here for probably about an hour, hour and 30 minutes, maybe even just an hour and 15. I'll probably pull them a little early. Because all we're really doing is trying to get them to uh, be pasteurized so we can make them a little medium, medium rare on the grill without having to worry about it. And then um, it changes the texture a little bit from what I hear. So I'm just going to toss them in there and... What I'm going to do is go ahead and get, I'm going to cook these on my Weber. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and get the start, the fire started on the Weber just so when these are done cooking, I can go ahead and throw, uh, throw them right on the grill and cook them up and eat them. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm just uh, getting my grill up to temp. So I thought I'd uh, throw some bacon on my griddle here. So while the uh, burgers are in the sous vide still, we still got another 35, 40 minutes. I'm going to crisp up some of this bacon so we can have bacon cheeseburgers with it. So, just thought I'd show you that. And then that grill is getting up to temp pretty good. The bacon's starting to cook. So, see you back in another 30 minutes and we'll have those burgers on. All right, all. I pulled these out of the uh, sous vide. And just like normal, when you pull any kind of meat out that you're going to sear from the sous vide, you want to go ahead and pat them dry. I know they look kind of gray and ugly, but we're going to go ahead and dry these off. And we're going to put a little bit more of that um, beef rub on there, salt, pepper, and garlic. The reason you want to pat them dry so you can get all the moisture off of them so that they sear up better, get that crust on that you're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and pat them dry, put a little bit more of this on, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, just a little bit, not a whole lot, you don't want it too salty, just a tad to get it back on what the moisture might have took off when it was in the sous vide. And that's it, I'm going to go ahead and throw these back on the grill. For a couple minutes don't take long and then we're gonna eat it up I got all my accompaniments out here lettuce tomato onion got the bacon the mayo the ketchup the mustard we're gonna put these on the grill all right I'll yeah. back out uh, to the grill got my Weber all nice and hot I got my burgers here brought the cheese out because we're gonna throw some cheese on them yep Weber's all nice and hot gonna go ahead and throw these on shouldn't take too long because they're mostly cooked already we're just gonna try to get that quick char to them, so I'm going to throw these on here, probably just for about three or four minutes. I'm going to flip them, 
And then we're going to throw the cheese on. Be back in a minute. Out about two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip them. And yeah, they're cooking pretty good. Brown. And that's all we're trying to do with these. Give them a couple more minutes on here. Then we're going to throw the cheese on, let that melt, and I'll be done. It's been another couple minutes. They're getting, getting done, done. Flip them over. Throw the cheese on. We will be done. My wife likes Swiss. I give her Swiss. I like Swiss. Myself a little Swiss. It looks like American, so we're going to throw some American on there. Whew. Getting hot. Alright, we're actually going to take them off the fire. We'll just let them, the cheese melt over on the side over here. Done. It's going to take about a minute. Close up the grill. Keep that heat in there. We're going to throw these on the pan and we'll get them inside and eat them up. Matter of fact, the cheese is probably already melted. There you go. All right, all right. They're all done. You can tell the cheese is all melted just fine. I'm going to go ahead and open up mine just so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Well, you see, kind of wanted it a little medium. Nice and medium in there. Nice and juicy. And we're going to throw them on buns, throw the company that's on, go to the town and eat them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you join us on Facebook. And make sure you Thanks. subscribe. Ooh, like have a sous -vide, bite of sous vide burger. Gross. Mmm, mmm, say mmm, mmm. Mmm. Uh-uh. Mmm. 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 Hey guys, it's mm. Darren. Mm -mm. Uh, I just wanted to follow up with this video. Uh, I, you know, tried this out because a lot of people I saw in some of the other Facebook groups were saying how great uh, sous vide burgers were. Um, I tried it. I don't think it was any better than just cooking the, you know, burgers on the grill by themselves. Um, it would be good probably if you are somebody who likes rare burgers and you want to make sure they don't get you sick. You can pasteurize it, cook it at like 129, 130 degrees for an hour uh, to help uh, kill any bacteria in the meat. But uh, as far as it making the burgers taste any better, probably not. It just pretty much added a step. So um, try it if you want to. I always like to try new things, but I can honestly say it didn't really do much um, any, any different than a normal burger. Um, so go ahead and try it, but thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, uh, follow us on Facebook and, um, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.